Okay, the pop-up JS is the final piece of the puzzle. And the pop-up JS basically takes the color the user selected from the pop-up HTML and sends it to the content script using messages. And the content script then reads this message and changes the font color accordingly. So let's see how to do that. We're going to create a new file called popup.js. So popup.js. And we're going to start off with jQuery. So dollar and we're going to have a function. Now, the first thing we need to do is get the value what the user has typed in the color picker. So var color is equal to dollar. We first need to select the input box. So font color and then dot val. Now, we also need to have this piece of code. So pound font color and we basically listen to three different things so when the value changes or when the user copy pastes a value into the text box and when there is something typed in the key uh, typed in the input box so on all these three events we are going to execute a function and what this does is basically assigns that particular value. So color is equal to dollar this dot val. So now, whatever the condition is, we have the value from the input text box. So next thing to do is listen to the click event on this particular submit button. So button change, we need to listen to that. So dollar we're going to first select dollar button change. So pound button change, sorry, button change. So on this, we're going to listen to the click event. We're going to have a function. So what we're basically doing is sending a message to the tab from where we clicked this particular button. So chrome.tabs.query and we can specify the options. So active, so active tab true, and it should be in the current window. So current window true. And then we can have a function, a callback function, which is going to give us an array of tabs. And we just need to send a message to the first tab. So chrome.tabs.send message tabs of zero dot id and once we have the mess uh, once we have the tab we can also specify what the message contains so to do is going to be change let's make this change color and we are also going to have to pass what was the color selected by the user so clicked color is going to be color all right now we have our pop-up js ready so let's save this and go back to our content.js where we are going to listen to that particular message. So chrome.runtime.onMessage.addListener. So we're going to have a function and if you remember, it's going to have a request, a sender and a send response. <coughs> Excuse me. So when we have the request, we check if it is asking us to change the color. So if request.todo is equal to change color, then we are going to first concatenate the value with hash so that we have a valid hex code. So this is going to be equal to hash plus request dot clicked color. So if you see here, we have clicked color that is sent. So that clicked color over here. Now we can go ahead and add this color to any class or any particular tag we want in our web page. So over here, if you have a look, the entire article body is in a class called API. So let's change the color in class API. So dollar dot API and I'm just going to say dot CSS we're going to change the color and this is going to be 
add color all right and that's it our extension is now completed let's reload this and test it one last time so I'm going to go to our extensions page and reload the extension so reload this let's refresh it all right so we have this uh, particular blue color from the CSS and if I click on this and select let's say green and click on change there you go all the font is now green and let me change this to red and click on change all the font is now red so this is the basic idea how you change the CSS or basically style on a web page using content script now I just changed the color but you can basically do anything you want with this and there you go you have your very first page action extension.